play a bit with our Blackest Night uh, Batman. So essentially, I think yesterday I stopped uh, because yeah, the, the lag was uh, was pretty bad at some point. So let's hope that it won't be uh, so bad today. Uh, just so you know, like whenever the, the lag is too bad on DC Universe Online or if DC Universe Online is uh, not working for some reason, I'll probably do uh, Dragon Age videos uh, in the meantime. So I'll probably alternate between the two uh, depending on... Uh, uh, whether this universe is available or not. Although I'm sure sometimes I'll do a Dragon Age video even if everything's fine with DC. So we'll see. So I guess I'll I'll diversify a bit more. So let's see what we can do with our friend. Uh, oh, let's first check. I have 18 marks of victory. I'm pretty sure I won't be able to buy anything uh, worth buying. So let's go do a few missions. So let's start with... Uh, Well, let's start with the lighthouse, just to get things started. Actually, let's start with all of them. We'll see which one actually pops out. Odds are there probably isn't many people online today. Yeah. So I guess we're going to have to start with uh, some solo ones, actually. So let's talk to our little friend over here. And let's summon our friends. So essentially I started damage over time before opening the door. It should do a bit of damage to our friends uh, as they come in. Well, that wasn't too bad. Although, let's refill our coal as before we forget. Essentially, I moved it to be in the blind spot of the their turrets that are firing on me. So let's see if we can activate this little thing here. And somehow I'm still in combat. And here they come.
not sure what I was targeting, but it was an old friend here though. So let's go see if we have our little treasure chest here. If not, we'll get it uh, also. Oh, there it is. Oh, we got uh, some pistols. Oh well. So let's go talk to our friend Luthor. Let's summon our friends. Continue to be of value to me. Superman's been defeated, and the Exobite research is in my hands. I will be seeing you again. For bigger. Oh, we got some headgear. That's nice. And it's a nice upgrade. And let's see what's in. Oh. What's in the box? Well, it seems to be a back piece, which is also awesome. And we've got a world map. I guess we're going to be able to do some geography if we want to. So that did raise us to 65. So let's go to our base and we'll reimprint our new gear. Also, we're going to put a white mod in our back piece, so let's do that right now. Oh, one click too many. Uh, it was entirely my fault. Uh, there, there isn't that much light today, or at least so far. Although earlier when I tried to go to the forums, uh, the forums weren't working, so I was trying to think that maybe... Oh. I guess I had two elements. So earlier the farms weren't didn't seem to be working, so I thought uh, I would be uh, I would not be able to play. But uh, so far now uh, everything seems to be going fine.
So let's go sell the stuff we don't need. And I should have sold first, but I have it. Oh, that's good. As you see, it takes a while to do uh, even just a duo today, so I, I can imagine doing a, an 8 player mission. Probably not a good day to do that. Probably in part because of the holiday, but also if, uh, if people expect the game to be down uh, thanks to the recent troubles, I don't, I don't, I can't say I really blame them. In theory, with uh, combat rating 107 with us, uh, it should be a walk in the park, but you never know. Sometimes a higher level player will make uh, a mission much more difficult than it really needs to be. There we go. I guess the stairs were interfering. I didn't seem to be doing uh, much damage, if any damage at all. Uh, to the little fellas in the stairs. It happens. Sometimes the the environment or the background, if you prefer, will interfere with uh, some of the attacks or some of the damage. And as you see, a typical example of our friend not contributing. Sadly, it's something that happens a bit too often. Like you'll, you'll see a high-level player, and that so then they will decide not to attack or contribute anymore because they feel they're carrying you or some some stuff like that. So they they try to let you do a bit of the work. I can understand holding back. I, I often do that with my higher-level character so that I can let the other guys contribute. But I never let them solo the whole thing, uh, thinking. Uh, that I'm carrying them.
But I guess it's a tough balance, uh, trying not to one-shot everything and, and letting the other guy do all the work. I don't really need it, but uh, why take any chances? It's very easy to take uh, bad habits when you're with uh, higher level players. So let's try not to if we can. So sure, with the higher level players, you don't need to pick up the brawl, but the next time you end up with the lower, lower level players, if you take the habit of not taking the barrel, then you may uh, you may decide not to take it the next time, and the guy you're with won't really be able to help you all that much. So let's give a little bow to our friend, which we will call Loney, because why not? And let's recharge. Oh, we're fully charged, actually. So let's get out of here. We'll take a look at our gear uh, in our lair. So let's see what we got. Oh, we got some gloves. That's nice. Uh, I thought we got a weapon. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, a dual wield weapon. Well, let's try it out. The ring is pointless. Oh, let's see what's in the box. Holy crap, that's a really nice chest piece. So we did get a few, uh, a few improvement. That's nice. And let's put a white mod in our chest piece before we forget. And also, we're going to need something for our gloves. I guess I will keep the, the, the baton aside so that I can use them uh, a bit later. Uh, I guess we can go sell 
I'm not sure what to do with Google Map. Uh, I'll think about it. So let's put a red mod in here. Pretty sure, yeah, pretty sure we didn't have all, uh, all of them. And actually, we didn't have any of them. So we still have plenty of room for plenty of mods. So let's sell whatever we don't need. Well, we can repair. Frosty bomb, no. The gloves, the chest. Well, oh, that's nice. Holy crap. Just one more, and we would be able to go to do tier 7 uh, missions. But pretty sure uh, there's nothing we can really purchase yet. If we could get a better belt, I would that would probably do the trick. And even the weapon, uh, oh, we have a pretty crappy weapon, level 32. Holy crap, that's bad. So let's try and do some more missions, and hopefully we'll get uh, some gear. So let's try again, uh, police station, and let's. Uh, uh, that's it for now, I suppose. Uh, we'll probably do. Uh, uh, we'll probably do a solo while we wait. So let's go for a Cersei or a Club Cell. Uh, let's go with the Club Cell. The cutscene saved uh, that little civilian guy. Well, let's grab this.
not sure why sometimes you can jump pretty long distances and sometimes you can't move uh, just a few feet out in front of you. I understand that sometimes there's probably uh, something in the back in the environment that's blocking you, but. Sometimes there, just, there doesn't seem to be anything blocking, and and still, And let's go fight the evil Zatanna. Keeping the poor Eclipse a prisoner. How cruel can she be? Obviously, and this is from the villain's perspective, of course. As usual, I will try to keep my backups uh, for when uh, the evil Etrigan gets there. Gonna use my weapons a bit more. I'm burning through power a bit too quickly. Probably from when she was interrupting me, uh, stopping me from pretty much completing my combos. That happens. So let's some other friends.
As you can see, there's like three three pedestals that I could click. Uh, I've done that a few times, but uh, nowadays I don't really bother clicking on those anymore. So let's go finish off our friend Zitana. Oh, it doesn't give a buff to my friend Eclipse, so that's sad. Oh, we got some shoulders. I'm pretty sure we had some pretty good shoulders already, but well, let's take a look. It says speak to Eclipse, so... Okay, now let's look at... Uh, the shoulders are no good. Although... Oh yeah, it would have been improvement. Well, next time, I guess. So let's use our accommodation. Uh, let's see what's in the box. Uh, the actually, the shoulders we've been looking for. Uh, let's do the duo and then we'll do uh, all the good stuff we have to do. So let's give a little uh, bow to our friend. Hot Cheetos. Let's go back up to take care of our bomber friends. Oh, he jumped. Ah, oh, that's the first one. Never saw them do that before. And I guess our friend already went downstairs. Oh, of course.
Let's summon our friend Diego. Got some brawling uh, weapons. I was wondering if our friend was going to skip his skip. Well, I guess not. There's some maps where I'm not too crazy when people uh, skip the ads. In this case, I don't mind it too much. The reason why I don't like it usually is because uh, whenever some, there are people whenever they try to, uh, I'm getting beaten up. There's some people that whenever they try to skip the ads, essentially what they just do is that they end up pulling all the ads in one spot, and then you're stuck fighting, like here. 53 ads at the same time. I have no idea how he managed that, but uh, I guess he did.
Where's our friend going? Probably should let him die to teach him a lesson, but uh, no point really. He probably sees that as some uber strategy of uh, pulling everyone together and. Which, yeah, it can probably work when you have uh, someone who can do the cleaning after you, but sometimes it's probably not a good idea, especially if you sometimes are with a, an undergeared partner. Looks like someone who may be used to playing with uh, overgeared players, but that's just a guess. Uh, I could be mistaken. Oh, I lost my barrel. Oh, let's summon our friends. And let's get this. Oh, let's get this started. I guess we weren't quick uh there we go. Remember me, Bane? It's payback. I don't want to see any glory. You got this. So let's see what we got. Ooh, a nice uh, incredible sweater. Uh, let's see what's in the box. Uh, some shoulders we can't use anyway. It seems to be the very same shoulders. Oh well. Hmm. 
Ah, nice brawling weapon. Oh, let's give the weapon for later down the line. Maybe we'll use this style. Let's get out of here. So let's imprint our gear before we don't get the chance. Okay, I think I did already this one. So let's do the healer gear. I guess it was just uh... so I think I'll keep my other back piece then. Well, that's what happens when you get interrupted uh, halfway while you're doing something. Easy to make a ah, crap. As you see, it's easy to make a mistake when you get interrupted halfway through what you were doing. Oh well. I guess that's going to be it for now, I suppose. I was thinking about maybe doing the police uh, the police station duo, but uh, I guess I could do it as a... Oh, let's do it as a healer. Tap melee hold range. Tap melee tap range. This one I don't want to have the weapon master anyway. Tap melee hold melee. So that's the one I've been using. So let's go and do a solo mission while we wait. Oh, I guess we'll go for it, uh, Cersei. It will allow us to practice a bit with our healer loadout, which uh, we didn't really use yet. I did a few uh, videos about healing with uh, electric. I'll probably try and do some with uh, Celestial. Oh yeah, I forgot, I switched to weapon. So essentially, you've seen me use this power in uh, DPS mode a lot, but as you can see in healer mode, what it does is that it, it uh, it's a heal over time, essentially, and somehow I keep on missing my combo. Oh, there we go. So let's help out our little friend here. 
So usually I would start with, let's say, a healing over time, and then I would start attacking. And then as needed, I would use uh, some of the other heals. But with the Celestial, you can actually attack and heal at the same time. As you can see. Oh, uh, uh, sorry about that, guys. Uh, the, the the video crashed uh, halfway as I was uh, making it. So let's uh, let's get started again. Hopefully, I'm going to be able to get the, the first part back uh, later down the line. Like usually, when it crashes, uh, the part I was just recording uh, somehow takes a while to get back on YouTube, but I, I still managed to, to get it back. Uh, there's only maybe maybe one time that I, I don't recall getting the the video that crashed uh, back. But usually in a while, uh, I'll, I'll see that video and I'll, I'll try to patch the two together uh, when that happens. At first I thought the, the game had crashed, but it turns out it's it's only the, the video recording. So let's, uh, let's try that again. So I was mentioning, uh, essentially uh, with the, the, the healer role, you start with your heal over time, and then as you need it, you, you use your uh, your, your three-player heal, your two-player heal, or whatever other heal you, you may have. But in the case of, uh, of uh, the, the, the Celestial Healer, actually you can attack and heal at the same time, like this power here, is not just a, a, an attack power, it's also a heal over time if you're in the, heal, in the healer role. And also I think there was something about it being uh, proportional to the amount of heal, uh, the amount of damage you, you, you were able to do. So as you see, you, you actually heal yourself as you attack uh, in some cases. Doesn't stop you though from uh, using your... your healing over time if you, if you need to. And if you can, why not use both? So essentially I used a few of my healer move and then I tried a few of their combos to see uh, how they actually work. But uh, you probably didn't notice because my health was full so there was no health to get back from those moves. And normally there would be a combo with my heal over time, but I, I didn't purchase the, uh, the opposite uh, power. So I don't really have access to that combo yet. I would need to respect uh, in order to be able to do that.
as you see, Nan Blaster has a fairly good uh, crowd control, I guess, or oh, not really crowd control, but something that that pretty much does damage to every every opponent uh, around you. Oh, she fell down. So let's wake up our friends here. But as you see, I'm burning a bit too much power, so I'll, I'll probably uh, use my weapons a bit more. Also, I did put a, a mod in my in my hand blasters that actually uh, can heal. So that's why sometimes you'll see a random heal, even though I'm not healing at all. Like it's the restorative adapter. It should heal you and three other group members uh, at most once every 60 seconds. And I can't target her yet. There we go. Let's help our friend here, and let's continue. Just not sure about. Oops, wrong one. Okay, yeah, now I call. This is it, actually. This usually repels uh, enemies, and it gives you a bit of heal, a bit of heal, a bit of heal, and then at the end it gives you a huge heal. Uh, usually in order to be able to use that, I'll use the uh, Empowered Channeling, uh, because when, when I when I do use this power here, I can be, as you can see, the little uh, plus sign above my head in that circle, it means that I can be interrupted. Uh, the Empowered Channeling makes it so that I cannot be interrupted if I use that uh, that ability. But for that, I'll need a, a second pair of gloves, I suppose. Let's get to work. Or let's wait. Oh, there you are. Oh, I didn't realize I got all of them already. That's nice.
There they are. Let's get rid of the minions, and we'll deal with the Wonder Woman after. I usually don't summon my friends for this part, but uh, I'll have pity on you guys. And I usually try to be a bit careful. It's uh, it's really easy to glitch uh, Wonder Woman. Uh, like the lad, there's one time when I, I hit her so hard, she went up there and she never came back. So I'm trying to be a bit uh, extra careful. There we go. Ooh, and we got a belt, exactly what we needed. Now let's see how good a belt it is, and if it'll be able to jump us over combat trading 70. If it is, uh... Oh. Oh, I'm her finest warrior, ain't she sweet? And I look badass, look at that. I'm not sure if there's a trinket or, or is it a, a plan that allows you to... Either a trinket that allows you to turn into a rhino. I know there's one to turn you into a lion, but... Or is it a, a recipe that allows you to craft consumables that turn you into a rhino? Well, I'll have to check. So let's see our new belt. Hopefully it's going to be good. A new plan? Ah, uh, crap. That's why. A tank belt. I got excited too quickly, I guess. So let's see what's in the box. Ah, that's sad. We really needed that belt. Oh well. Uh, probably should keep one of those shields. So let's try and sell what we don't need. I don't really need the snowballs, but uh, I'm just not sure what to do with it. Uh, I guess I could keep the hammer as well. Uh, that's so disappointing. So let's see, what could we do next? Let's see how many marks we have. 25. Nowhere near enough. Uh, pretty sure belt is like 45, and that's what we would probably need. A belt or a weapon would do the trick, but uh, a weapon is 70 marks of, uh, of victory, so. Not likely to happen anytime soon. Ah, uh, Darth Magneto. It's been a while since I saw Magneto. So let's see. Well, actually, maybe I could. I guess either a wait for for the belt, 
which is 20 marks of victory down the line. Or I could try maybe for a central city. What's my mask like? Uh, 52. Uh, central city won't really help me all that much. I guess I have no choice but to wait for the belt. Oh well. And sadly waiting for a... I suppose I could try and fix my DPS that I messed up. Well, let's go back for my base for that. So essentially, you're, you're going to see what happens when you mess up and you overwrite your the wrong armory. You have to redo your character. There's no no other way. There's nothing else you can do. So let's start with the look. Uh, use the triangles. So if you ever wondered how to recreate the evil Black Lantern look, at least uh, early on in the game, that's more or less how. Uh, I think I'll keep the two color slim lines. I would probably replace them for something else at some point, but uh, for now, oh, the police station is ready. So let's go and do that. We'll fix our character after. It starts some day. There we go. Ah, uh, pretty cool. Uh, pretty cool look. I guess we're going to do this mission pretty quickly. It's our friend uh, uh, somehow targeting the barrel. There we go. Ah, come on. Uh, sadly, the Commander Engineering Belt pretty much means a uh, controller belt.
Well, let's bring a little barrel with us, even if technically we should need to. Ah, oh, come on. Let's give him a bow anyway, but I knew you would do it. I knew you did. The request I sent out for someone to come rescue you was just a precaution. I'll cancel it. Well, maybe not just yet. More of the just so let's see what we got. And some tank shoulders, controller belt as I thought, controller, oh no, it's a tank uh, pants. So let's see what's in the box. Oh well. well at least we got a TV. Well, let's put it up right here for now. Well, let's put it here. So let's try and fix hey. our D Hi there. Let's try and fix our DPS that we messed up. Uh, let's start with the look again. For the chest, we go for the triangle one. The legs will stick with those we have. So we'll go with the sinistral hands. That seems so oh, the belt. Oh, I probably could find a better belt than that. I'll do that some other time. So the look is okay, I suppose. So let's imprint that. So the sad thing is that the I mess essentially when you mess up your your armory, you pretty much have to respect. Uh, well, let's respect everything. The worst part is the skill, I suppose. So let's take the flight. Uh, let's go with air burst. I was toying with the idea of not taking it, but now let's take it. And let's go with martial arts, of course. Oh, let's go with power. And I lost count. Uh, let's go dual pistols first. There we go. Now let's try to remember the powers we had. So 
essentially I wanted that. I want that. And that's my supercharge here. And what do I do with my two extra? I probably should take a tactical genius, but I kind of like taking the super strength that just to be able to pick up trucks, cars, and all that stuff. That's a bit silly, but uh, what can I say? So. This should be playing. This should be my breakout. This should be my consume soul. This should be my supercharge. I essentially I take life drain because it uh, it deals that it deals it deals damage and it heals yourself, which is not a bad. Not a bad idea. Well, let's see if I could maybe. Actually, I think my other was here. Uh, let's stick with uh, what did work. Uh, there we go. Good as new, except maybe with uh, the back piece. Uh, So I guess it's all good, or it seems to be. Ah, so sad. I thought I had the belt I needed, but apparently not. Uh, let's put our blues here. And yeah, before Barry asks, uh, I didn't, I did not give my auras to my other character yet. Uh, that will come soon. I should probably leave uh, out of here. So let's see, what can we do next? So normally we need, uh, we need to be able to purchase a back piece. Uh, a belt piece, I mean. And I can't get marks from those anymore. We did all of those out there and then Ferris. Essentially Ferris aircraft you, you don't want to do that with a pug. Uh, 
already when you do it with a friend it's it's still a fairly challenging mission if you do it with a bug you're, you're just asking for trouble So I guess what's really left to do is uh, to do some central city missions. Yeah, I've been mostly here as a hero lately, so I have the reflex to go uh, at the other end. So let's take uh, those missions first. We don't have all day. No, we don't have all day. That's true. Oh. oh, and there's a lady here. So let's zoom out a bit and let's talk to our friend uh, Zoom. So let's try to find ourselves uh, a few speedsters. Oh, there's one. I'm not sure if they lowered the. Uh, the amount that spawned or something, but uh, sometimes there's uh, there's not many of those around. a few No, I understand. I wondered why there was uh, some martial arts weapon in my bank. Oh, I know. Essentially, I still have the hand blasters equipped. Uh, my bad. Give me the opportunity to practice my healer loadout a bit, which I haven't done much.
There's probably a more effective loadout to make what is known as those uh, battle healers. But uh, I'm not too crazy about those. Uh, most of those I see who are trying to be battle healers barely do any damage and barely do, do any heal. So I'd, I'd rather focus on uh, on healing when I'm heal in the healer mode. Uh, if I, if I want to do battle, I'll, I'll, I'll switch to DPS. Although I do understand a bit, like even with my controller, I never claimed to be a battle controller, but I could still do uh, plenty of damage uh, at various time uh, in the game's life. Of course, there's times when I was doing more damage than others. Like essentially, uh, at first as a controller, I was I would probably much uh, just focus on giving power. Didn't really worry about damage. And I I still don't really worry about damage. It's just that when uh, when Weapon Master was added to the game, holy crap, I was doing a lot of damage. And I, I was I was doing as much as that as, as much damage as many many DPSs. sure why he's not picking them up. Either he already has his tan and he's just trying to kill reapers. Or he's waiting for someone like me to do the dirty work. It happens. And seeing how he's following me, that's probably the second part. So when they added Weapon Mastery, holy crap, I was I was doing uh, almost as much damage as most uh, DPSs. Heck, sometimes I was doing more damage than some, uh, some of the DPSs. But still, uh, even at that time, a really good DPS would do at least four times the damage I was doing. So that's pretty much how I could tell a good DPS. Of course, the... the once we were able to figure out uh, the combat rating of other players, but it was easy to see that the, if you did a lot more damage uh, than the DPS, you could look it up and see it. Oh, well, the reason was pretty simple. I was like 5, 10, 20 combat ratings above him. But the weapon mastery uh, made a huge difference. And then they did a whole lot of tweaks and changes, and then they added the, the advanced mechanics. And once more, uh, it depended on the situation. I still, uh, I still sometimes manage to make uh, as much damage as some DPSs, but it's usually those who use the less powerful powers, I suppose. Not sure why I couldn't do my combo, my bad. So as you can see, a consume soul does a good job healing like the smaller damage, I guess.
on, just one more. And as you can see also, Consume Souls is, uh, is a pretty potent pull. Ah, crap. There we go. Essentially, I hadn't completed uh, the Zoom mission, so whenever you pass next to Zoom, uh, when that happens, you you start speeding up. Uh, I guess let's go do some other portals. So Consume Soul is a pretty much a pretty good multi-purpose uh, power. It, it does damage, it pulls, it does some crowd control, it heals. And now I pulled uh, way too many. And I lost my loadout. Just one more. Oh, there it is. It's been a while since I had to compete with anyone with, for those ruptures. Usually there's no one else here, or very few people. And there we go. This is the wanted posters. No point in taking it since uh, I'm nowhere near ready to do any of the wanted missions. Oh, we got a nice back piece, which is not useful. And some crappy fabric. It happens. So let's look at... Is there something we could purchase, perchance? Uh, we could buy a mask, but... Pretty sure that won't really help us. The same with the color. The rings are useless. The only thing I could think of is maybe the trinket, but we can we can buy it anyway. Uh, trinket is combat rating seventy. The mask 60, the mask sixty two. So let's see sixty two fifty two. Uh, Ten combat rating. I'm not sure that'll be enough. Fifty four. That might do the trick. But the best option is still the is still the belt, and not this belt. Uh, the 
tier three belt. And it, the belt is even less, less expensive. So yeah, a belt is what, what actually makes more sense. So let's go back to our base and get our DPS weapon. Let's put our blasters in here. Essentially, we need 45 marks of victory for a belt, which pretty much means uh, we're going to have to wait for tomorrow. Unless. Unless we do a few four player missions. Holy crap. Nah. Oh, why not? There has been a lot of lag the past two days. Oh, yeah, the, the lag has been uh, pretty horrible. Although today, so far, knock on wood, it's not too bad. Yesterday I played for a bit uh, with this character until uh, essentially the, the, I guess the server crashed or something. Like I was in Central City and then uh, the NPC started acting uh, funky. And then all the NPCs were gone and... Uh, and then as soon as I logged out, uh, I had the message like cannot log into server or something. So it was uh, for the past uh, at least a couple of days, it, it's been really bad. And even the forums, like uh, I, I, even today, I tried going to the forums earlier, and I, I could not, uh, I could not get there. Well, let's try now. Oh, now it seems to be working. Uh, the forum seems to be working right now. Well, let's give a bow to our little friends. Same. We'll let our friends uh, decide where we go. Don't really care. Ultimately, we have to do all three wings, so. Well, let's hope that our friends are going to be able to stay together.
course, everyone. The sad thing is that uh, sometimes people don't understand that you, you cannot heal them if they're in another room. Now they're spread all over the place. Not sure why. Sadly, the challenge is trying to keep everyone together, and they don't seem to want to. I'm not sure what Taxi is doing or Tay is doing. But I guess he's determined not to follow the rest of the group. Essentially the guys run all over the place, they pull every mobs around and then we end up facing too many mobs. So I guess that's it for today guys. So that's it for today, guys. Uh, Is it possible to customize the color of your loadout tab or your skill points and power points tab? Uh, no, not as far as I know. Uh, essentially, what determines the color of your loadout is uh, your power. So as you can see, uh, uh, Celestial has a purplish kind of loadout, but uh, Fire is a, like a, an orange kind of loadout. So that, that's that's pretty much uh, what customizes the color of your loadout, if I'm not mistaken. It's your the power you use. Uh, for the skill points, I have no idea, actually. Now, for the power point and skill point, uh, that, that's uh, that's standard. There, there's not, nothing really you can do to, to change that. Like, uh, everything, is, the, the interface by default is like this bluish, white on blue and blue, uh, blue on blue kind of thing. So that, that's pretty much how it, it is. Uh, there's nothing really you can uh, customize about uh, that as far as I know. Uh, if you can customize it, never, never try that.
but uh, for the loadout in the bottom, uh, essentially what, what customizes the essentially the color of the, the various uh, emblems or icons is uh, is the power you're using. The, as far as I know, that's that's the only thing that uh, that that changes. So I guess uh, that's going to be it for now, guys. Uh, so well, one 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 combat rating shy of seventy. So uh, tomorrow there's no reason uh, we shouldn't be able to reach combat rating seventy. Uh, essentially, we only need a few uh, about uh, like a 10, uh, 12 marks of victory. So we should be able to get that tomorrow. And, uh, well, no problem. So we should be able to get that tomorrow. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, and uh, this is the, probably the last broadcast of the year. So uh, uh, thanks for being in uh, this year. Hopefully 2016 uh, will be as good, if not better, for this universe. Overall, it's been a, a fairly good year. So we'll see next year. What see we... you later. We'll see you later, guys. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, much appreciated. Thanks for, th thanks for your support. And uh, hopefully I'll see you guys uh, next time, which will probably be in 2016, unless I log back in later today. So thanks, guys, and uh, hopefully uh, have a good day. Bye-bye.